Hi, I'm Fred Deck. I'm with the University of Illinois at Chicago. And we have here a telecollaborative application between Washington, D.C. and Chicago. Uh, this is an application called the Virtual Pelvic Floor. And we're connected live via internet with the Virtual Reality and Medicine Laboratory at Chicago and Dr. Russ Pearl. Russ? Good morning. This is Russell Pearl. I'm a colon and rectal surgeon at the University of Illinois in Cook County Hospital, and I'm broadcasting live from the Virtual Reality and Medicine Laboratory at the University of Illinois in Chicago, and we're going to be demonstrating this pelvic floor model. As you can see uh, in this uh, unisex torso, the pelvic skeleton and the muscles of the pelvic floor are becoming increase increasingly more distinct as the model rotates. Uh, you can also see some of the nerves. Okay. And, and let's get a little closer view of the pelvic floor from above. The pelvis has been described by most anatomists as a bowl with the walls of the bowl being made up of the bony skeleton and the floor of the bowl being made up of these sheets of striated muscle called the levator ani muscles. You can see the rectum pierces the pelvic floor so as it descends down and becomes known as the anal canal. So is this, this is the rectum here, Russ? Right. Okay. That's the top of the rectum where I have the indicator. Yeah. Now let's flip the pelvis up to look from below. Now you get this panoramic view demonstrating all of these spaces and just for orientation, um, you can see the coccyx, which is the tailbone. It's down here. Right. And then this circular, the circle of muscle, this donut of muscle, is the anal sphincter, which okay. helps control continence. If you look from the side here, you can see the junction of the specialized skin around the anus with the lining of the anal canal, and this is called the dentate line. You can see this jagged interface. It looks dentate like teeth. Uh-huh. Okay. You can also see the nerve supply to the pelvic floor. That's, that's over here, correct? Right. Okay. Now let's actually take a little trip inside the rectum. Okay. And so, so we're going to actually lean in and get an endoscopic view. And yeah. We Okay. Look up, and if we look up, we now see there's a polyp in there. Let's take a little closer view. Oh, okay. I think I see it. Let me see if I can. And uh, let's see if we can point that out. That's right what? there. Right. Okay. All right. There we go. You should be able to see it now with that finger pointer. Uh-huh. Now let's change the orientation.